Hi everybody, assalamualaikum. I hope you guys are doing great. Alhamdulillah, I'm doing good. And by the grace of God, everything is fine. And I hope you guys are okay. And today, I just want to go direct to my mission today. Today, I want to talk about some few things that you need to know before you board the flight and decide to come to Doha or decide to go to any Gulf country or before even you go and pay that huge amount, amount of money to the agent and decide to come anywhere in Gulf region. First thing you need to know, you need to have to, to know the back the, the background of where you're going. How is that country? Of course, when you decide like you want to come to Doha, you know one or two people who have been there, maybe they have a good success story or how they have something good. Do a lot of do a lot of homework about where you're going to do, to go. So I've done some of the homework for you and I will let I, I want you to know what you to expect when you come here. First thing, first 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 thing lower your expectation your expectation punguza mm -mm. because one thing that people do the biggest mistake they do is the expectation and when they come here and find what they were expecting or what they were told or what they had or what the agent lied to them when they come here and find the most of them find completely opposite of what they had had or what they have been told and they get frustrated so when they get into the job, they are not happy because this is not what they were told. This was not what this is what this is not what they were expecting. So, if you are if you are coming here as um, as a house manager uh, in the security department in the cleaning department, this is the second thing I need you to know that your salary, ama it's between one thousand one thousand five hundred and the highest maybe 2000 which 2000 it's maybe for the supervisor maybe if you have worked all two one or two years that's when you go to 2000 1800 but the the, the salary ranges between 1000 and 1500 mostly so when they tell you you'll be coming here and you'll be earning 1000 kenya or uh, 5000 of course they usually save this money in kenyan shillings and they'll be telling you that ukifika uko utakuwa ukipata mshahara ya 100,000, 50,000, 60,000 and 70,000 they'll be lying to you so first thing expectation the second thing is the range of mshahara it's between 1,000 and 1,500 and if if and this is not a must if maybe you are a supervisor and you have worked for one year or two years you get 1800 or you get 2000 which is not most commonly if you're coming here as a first time so the second thing the third thing when you board the flight to come to doha hakuna kujikadisha not unless okay if you have signed the contract of security and cleaner they don't stay outside accommodation they are given accommodation they are given transport most probably they are not given food this this is in the category of cleaners waiters na waiters na what when you are finding security they are given accommodation and transport most they are, all of them actually they are given accommodation and transport so don't come here expecting oh woi nikifika doha nitaenda nitapata nyumba yangu nitakuwa nikikaa peke yangu it's not possible the second thing Ata ukifikiria when you wana kaa huku inje, the house, the rent is so, so, so much expensive. Very, very, very much expensive. For the smallest katayini room, ivi. When you are sharing, maybe sometimes if you are sharing kitchen and bathroom, that's when you will find like you will get a house between 1,500, 1,200 and not less than that. So, keep it in your mind. Ukikuja hapa. If you're in that, that category, working in that category, you are given accommodation and transport. So that one is okay for you. Ukikuja hapa kama mfanya, now I'm going to talk about wafanyikazi wa nyumba, the nannies. When you're coming here as a nanny, what do you expect? One thing, not all these fingers are not the same. You see, they're not the same. You might find a good sponsor, you might find mashallah a good person to work with at the same time you might find another person who mm -mm, like no but i want to tell you something 
For example, if you are working in a non Qatari house, remember that person is still an expatriate like you, so there is high chances they are not leaving. They are most of them are living beyond their means, so don't expect kuripo mshara kubwa. When you come to the locals' houses, they are living large. They have big houses. They have big mansions. So, kazi uko most probably itakuwa mingi. But what I know about most of locals is that they hire different nannies. There is a cook, there is someone to take care of the kids, and there is a cleaner and stuff like that. So the thing is, when it comes to the housemaid jobs, I'm sure even in the village there is someone that you don't want. In your village, kuna mtu wezi taka kufanyia kazi. This is the same thing here. As I told you again, these fingers are not the same. So are the people that you are coming to work for here in Doha. So lower your expectation. And just lower your expectation and just wait to see what happens. I know most of the time when, when you fika uku and you find things are not the way you thought, most of the reason is that no one told you what to expect. And that's why I'll be doing these videos to let you know that what you're expecting, first thing, lower your expectation. This one again and again and again, I'll keep repeating, lower your expectations. Everything else will fall into place. Ukifika uku, do your job as from your heart, as, as if you're working for, for your own. The thing is, one day you'll be an employer. And no one said that it's permanent. The job that you are in, it's permanent. We have seen people who came here as nannies, and now they're working in big companies. Why? Alifanya kazi mzuri. Maybe their boss is somewhere, a boss somewhere else. And they found that after the two years contract, when you go home, they give you another visa to come and work here in a different in a different situation or in a different work a better that what you a better than what you are doing simply because what they gave you first you are contented with it and you did it from the bottom of your heart so you never can tell so i think i will wind up my video for for today there and inshallah i will still gather more information and i'll let you know Again, again, and again, I want to remind you, lower your expectation. Kuja kafanya kazi yako, wacha kuzurura. Doha is very small. If you mess up with something, the next thing you're on, the next flight to home. So just be careful when you come here. Security is so tight. You can't, okay, we have so many people who are doing drama, drama, but they know what happens later. But, okay, kuja uku, please fanya kazi yako. So, until another time. I have duty to attend in a few minutes time so i'll have to go to my work much love and god bless you masalama please take care take care inshallah